Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot reading here on Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is for the week of February 19th through 25th. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so you know, try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to go beyond what I'm telling you. Okay. Uh, remember that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And here we have the High Priestess. That seems like a very lucky card to get right out of the gate. But let's put that into some context using our Dove and Serpent spread. And we are going to include a mystery card, a bonus card, a confirmation card. We're going to leave that right here. We're not going to look at that until the very end of the reading. So you got to stick around until the end. And hopefully that will, you know, tie the reading together and uh, give us the confirmation that we're looking for right at the end of things. Okay, so let's just see what we have. We've got some fire, some air, We've got some water and some major arcana. We've got some air, earth. We've got some water and water. So a lot of water today, okay? What I'm not really seeing is a, a focus on the fire, okay? Which is kind of what I would expect with you, Aries, but I think you've probably got the fire under control, you know? Um, and I think that is probably by way of this priestess card. I think that you're someone who has some very sensitive, like, psychic gifts, okay? And I believe that we all have um, these kind of uh, mental gifts, psychic gifts, the sensitivity about us. But some people have uh, made more of a connection than others, right? It's there in everyone, I believe. But I just think we have to kind of, some of us anyway, have to work harder to establish the connection and to foster it and nurture it and to strengthen the connection. I think you're someone that's done that. I feel like you have a lot of uh, intuitive abilities. I think that you're someone maybe that even the people around you um, go to you for your kind of intuitive advice or they go to you um, to kind of get a, a sense of what's coming in the future right? It's almost like you, um, you do tarot readings, but without the tarot cards. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you have kind of a direct link. And I think that maybe even when you were younger, you'd have a lot of these kinds of almost unexplained experiences. I'm getting a feeling like sometimes you would wake in the middle of the night and you'd have these very vivid dreams and, and you would awaken and, um, you would get frightened because it seemed like something that that was in the future that was coming that was so real, right? And I think you would find that more often than not, those kinds of dreams came true for you. You know what I mean? I, I think there are at least a few instances that you can recall right now of something like that happening. A premonition, a dream, something when you were a child that um, would kind of manifest in some way. Right. And I think when you were young, that kind of startled you, that that made you a little bit uh, kind of frightened or even made you feel a little bit different than everybody else. You know, because it, maybe your friends, your family didn't understand or maybe it's something you kept to yourself. Um, but I feel like now as you're older, you are learning how to really utilize these gifts, you know. I think that maybe you're coming here to watch this tarot reading today to confirm a tarot reading that you did for yourself, to confirm some other divination, to confirm a dream or just a gut feeling that you had, right? And um, I think that you're the type of person, I really do, that, that has such a strong connection that um, it's kind of a, a natural thing for you now to just trust, trust your gut, you know? But it doesn't hurt to get a little confirmation at the same time, you know? So I feel like you're someone that has a lot of these kinds of experiences that you're able to really, with the priestess card, I'm getting this feeling like you're really able to um, like uncover hidden knowledge, right? Things that are maybe a mystery to everyone else uh, through a little bit of whatever your, you know, kind of outward rituals are, through your meditation, through your tarot, through your I Ching, through your geomancy or pendulum, whatever it might be, crystal gazing or, or scrying. Uh, or just staring at the clouds, right? Um, through your practices, you can come to that knowledge in a way that kind of astounds other people. You just have a way of knowing things, okay? And I think that's very important here, especially when it comes with this 
water sign person that is either entering your life right at this time, either in the last couple of days or in the next couple of days, but it's right around this time this water sign person's coming in. I think they may have a G name, a G initial, um, and I think that you have a relatively strong intuition or gut feeling about this person. Okay, And I think that they are offering you something. I feel like maybe they're offering you a uh, you know, a romantic opportunity. They're offering their heart to you, kind of. And that's the the way this card is depicted, the way the, the figure on this card is depicted. It seems a very um, passionate kind of communication. This person's coming in really with, they've torn their heart out and they're offering it to you. And it's kind of that dramatic, right? It's almost going to be a really big show of it. Um, it could be something like a proposal. Maybe your significant other is going to, you know, pop the question. Um, but I feel like it's going to be something dramatic. And I don't know if this is someone that you already know. Okay, that's... Um, I'm kind of getting the idea that you are in a relationship with this person now, but they're going to be presenting something to you, offering something, making some kind of grand, dramatic gesture. Okay? And so it is something akin to popping the question, right? This figure kind of even, it looks like that's kind of what they're doing, right? Maybe if we cross our eyes a little bit. So I feel like this is the situation this week, but I think that there's more to it than just this simple, you know, event. Um, I am curious how your psychic abilities, your sensitivity, your gifts play into this, because I almost feel like you are a bit torn here right? Maybe this is a relationship that you're currently in. Maybe this is someone that you already know. And you're not going to really be so certain how to respond to this grand dramatic gesture, you know? Um, and maybe that's a situation where you really have to trust your instinct. You have to trust your gut. You have to, you know, open yourself up to your kind of um, divine guidance and wisdom to know how to respond in a situation like this, because I feel like you kind of do want it, you kind of don't, okay? And in the uh, recent past, let's go there first. This is the Three of Swords. There is something from your past, probably a, a bad relationship, um, that you're still struggling with, okay? It's like some, still, some issues that are still lingering from a past relationship. And it's... Uh, kind of a thing where you don't want to relive these same experiences, and so you're a little bit cautious in this current situation. And I think you're just kind of, um, you're torn between not wanting to repeat the past and getting over the past and moving on and taking another opportunity, right? Because whatever happened here in this past relationship is still still kind of lingering here. There's still some issues there. There's still some memories, still some pain, still a lot of, um, I think a lot of mental or emotional energy still being spent on that relationship. Do you know what I mean? Um, it could be that there are things in your current relationship that remind you a little bit of this past circumstances. Okay. And that could be causing you a little bit of um, trepidation, hesitation. Okay. And I don't know what this, what this was exactly. Um, it may involve a Libra sign person. That's possible. Um, but I think it's probably something relatively recent. I think in the last three years, you know, and I think that, you know, to me, that's kind of recent. Um, but there are still issues there from whatever that relationship was about, whatever the, um, whatever the trouble was there, right? And I feel like it's something that the more you think about it, the more you kind of uh, re-invoke those feelings and those thoughts, I think it kind of causes more pain, okay? So it's something that you're kind of, you're still reminded about, you're still going over the situation in your head. And I think that's kind of interfering with the current situation. It's, it's giving you a little bit, like I said, a little bit of trepidation and also interfering with this kind of uh, divine guidance or this spiritual insight that you have, this direct connection to your, you know, your psychic gifts, okay? Your ability to kind of know things um, through kind of non-rational means. 
and I think this is it's causing a little bit of some crossed wires a little bit of static for you okay up above everything we see a nine of wands here and I think you're the type of person that really usually usually I say is uh, very quick to decide very determined very steadfast right very decisive once you once you develop the resolve within to commit to something you do it you go for it there's no question about it there's no um, there's no going back on your word going back on your decision you know so I feel like this is um, kind of something it, it, there's a little twist here do you know what I mean um, it seems that these memories these thoughts and feelings from this past relationship are interfering with kind of with the the current situation your general energies um, are just there's a little bit of static there okay because I think you're usually the type of person that uh, can listen to your heart right it, this card the head and the heart are connected conscious and unconscious inner and outer are in harmony and I think that as much as you may feel that in this situation, there are still these interfering thoughts, these interfering vibes from this past relationship. Okay? And I don't mean to turn this into a love reading. Um, I think that this is just one, one component to your overall kind of situation right now. Okay? Um, but usually, like I said, usually you're this very decisive person. But I think when this event kind of happens, when this water sign person, um, you know, makes this dramatic gesture, you're not really going to know what to do right away. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's going to, even though you're expecting it now and you're kind of, you're ready for it. Maybe you've known for a while that this was kind of coming, that this was going to happen, something like this. It still feels like it catches you off guard. You know, it still makes me feel like you're, you're questioning your own decisions now. You're starting to kind of doubt yourself a little bit. Okay. Uh, beneath everything, we see this art or temperance card. This is you really trying to reconcile the, the head and the heart. This is you trying to reestablish this firmness, this really decisiveness, this inner resolve, like really knowing what you want and going for it and not hesitating. There's no question. You're just, you're very... You're very straightforward. I mean, Aries, right? You've got that Aries energy. And this, I think, is you trying to reestablish that. It's like you're trying to kind of reconcile the, the past with the present and then understanding how this is going to formulate the future. Okay? So I still feel like you're trying to uh, reach some closure on this past issue, which I think is some kind of a, rela a relationship that didn't go so well. Okay. And this, I think, is your kind of current dilemma. Not so much what to do with this water sign person, because I think looking at things, it seems like this is a pretty, pretty good way to go. You know, I don't think there are any issues really, in, or at least there are no red flags to me right now with this water sign person. But you are still dealing with these past issues that are lingering okay so you're trying to figure out how to um process all of that what like it's the, maybe the last three years trying to process all of this energy all of these memories all of this kind of you know this history these feelings this vibe and reestablish your kind of aries strength you know your your firmness of purpose your real uh, commitment to your decision and that kind of steadfastness. Okay, so you're trying to kind of balance um, this, balancing the head and the heart. Yes, but it's almost as if uh, you have to balance your head and you have to balance your heart. You know what I mean? I wonder even if this mystery card is going to be uh, adjustment or you know the justice card, because I feel like even in your like mentally in your mind you're kind of torn. You have this, these past issues, but you kind of, you know, you you understand a certain uh, a certain um, there, there's a certain assurance about this current situation, you know, like rationally you know where you stand, but there's still these lingering things. So I feel like you're kind of torn mentally, intellectually, and then in your heart I think you're also kind of torn because you have these feelings from the past relationship, 
but they're different than the feelings you have now in this current relationship. So it's kind of about balancing the heart, balancing the head, and then balancing the two together to understand the way forward. Does that make sense? But the way forward, I think, really is this Two of Cups. This is the immediate future. This is really, this is love. This is a, a relationship that is respectful, harmonious, affectionate. It is um, in perfect balance, you know. So it feels to me like you, this is the direction that you want to take. It's like you know that this is a good step for you. This is going to be a very positive experience. This is the direction you want to go. But there is this kind of nasty three of swords that's kind of holding you back. Understandably, too. There's nothing unreasonable about any of this. So I think this is the direction that we want to go, right? We want to have this nine of swords, uh, sorry, nine of wands, strength and resolve and commitment and purpose, real harmony within ourselves, right? And that's what you're working towards so that you can then accept this offer, go in this direction with this person. Now, it may not be a marriage proposal, okay? That's just one example. It's any kind of, a, of an offering or a gift or an opportunity that somebody is, somebody's asking you, you know, come along with me, something like that. And I think that's the direction that you want to go with this Two of Cups. But we're going to move over to the Path of the Serpent, see what else is going on, see what more we can kind of learn, because with this... Eight of Cups down here in your general energy, I get the feeling like there's a lot of, and we've already talked about this, right? We have this kind of imbalance here. We see the imbalance, you know, here, which is that we're trying to restore the balance. But with the Eight, with the Eight of Cups, I feel like some days you really feel blessed. You feel wonderful. You feel like this is the, just the, your life is amazing. It's perfect. This relationship is perfect. You're very excited and optimistic about the future. And then other days, you're just kind of the, the other way. You feel like this is just a disaster. This is not good. This is toxic. This is um, just very pessimistic. Some days, it's like the glass is half empty or all the way empty, you know. And it seems to me like this is an unstable kind of situation. This is a situation that's not balanced right now, these eight cups, right? Because the water's kind of draining, and then maybe it fills back up, and then it's, kind of, it's just inconsistent, right? Some inconsistency there. And that could be um, partially from these memories, this past thing that we're still hanging on to. But it could be also that you see some inconsistencies in this other person, in the relationship itself, right? It could be something also here that's giving you a little bit of a, of a pause. But I think what's going on is because of this past issue, it's almost like you're, you're looking for these red flags and you're kind of finding a few of them. You're finding things that, well, I can't really tell if that's a red flag. It might be, but we don't know if that's just because you have, you know, a certain pair of glasses on that's allowing you to see things that maybe aren't really red flags after all, okay? So I feel like you're in a position now where you really are trying to kind of reconcile all these things within yourself and um, find a way to move into the future that you want, okay? And it's not something that you're just going to blindly jump into, Right? We see the swords energy and with the fire energy that we do have, it's really something that you're, you want to be absolutely sure of what you're doing before you do it. Because once you do it, the nine of wands, once you do it, there's no going back. You're committed. You're going to see the thing through. Because I think that's the type of person that you are. You know. Now in the environment, we've got this four of cups. I think... This is what's kind of telling me that you're, you may already be in a relationship with this person. Maybe right now it's, it's currently platonic. Okay. That's a possibility. But I think that there is, um, there is a kind of an indecision. Uh, we've been talking about this, an indecision on your part, whether or not, um, 
whether or not this has the capability of going to the next level. Because right now we've, we're at the four. We're a stable thing now. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably platonic now. It's probably pretty good the way it is. Maybe it's already a romantic relationship, but it's in a nice kind of stable place, you know? And the kind of the direction that we're, we're headed or, or what we're looking at in the future is kind of going to upset this balance. And it's almost like you don't want to ruin a good thing, you know? You don't want to uh, rock the boat when the boat's just kind of cruising along at a nice mellow pace right now. Um, it could be that this relationship is um, a little bit too mellow, you know? It could be in need of some excitement. It could be that the boat needs a little rocking, okay? And that might be the sort of the motivation behind this water sign person and what they're going to be presenting you, offering you, or um, I kind of like asking you to accept is the vibe that I'm getting, right? And it could be because they also feel that this boat is in need of a little rocking, that there needs to be a little bit of excitement here. Something to take this to the next level, to get a little motion in the ocean, right? And I like to use the kind of marine analogy with the Four of Cups, where it's, it's a boat that's stable. It may be anchored in place. It's not really sinking. There are no holes in it. But it's not sailing forth. It's not going into the storm. That's a good thing. It's not really going anywhere, though. It's just kind of, it's just kind of idling. It's just anchored, kind of floating there. So it might be in need of a little bit of excitement, something to kind of um, get the spark going again, you know? And that's just another factor to kind of uh, to think about here. Because I, I don't know if that's a reason to accept this offer or not. Because, you know, just to add some excitement to our life, should we do something that feels to me like it would be a major commitment? I'm still expecting this justice card over here. But what I feel uh, is needed is some real kind of sober reflection. You know, this is you um, really trying to reconcile these things within yourself not making a hasty decision, trying to trust your intuition and trust these like psychic gifts that you have. But I think in order to really get a clear understanding of what spirit is telling you, what your higher self is telling you, we've got to clear away some of this past energy, some of this residual, this three of swords from the past. We've got to kind of clear that out in order for you to really um, receive the messages that are coming in currently. Okay. So the Four of Cups. What we see next is the Five of Discs. So we went from a Four to a Five. Okay. So this is kind of like, yeah, the boat's been, the boat's rocking now. The, uh, the ground is kind of shaky. It's kind of uncertain. There's movement now. You can hear that the engines have started and the boat is starting to move. And that is, well, this card is in the position of your fears, worries, and concerns. So I feel like to get things moving is going to cause some anxiety. You know, the way things are now that they're stable and sort of restful and just mellow is giving you more of an opportunity to reconcile these, what we see on the path of the dove, right? The past issues and getting your kind of, you know, getting your vibe back. But then I think with this, offer, this request, this gift, or whatever it is that this water sign person is asking you to accept, that's going to kind of shake things up. And that's going to kind of, that's kind of like a, an unwanted, um, you know, an unwanted uh, spark in the tinderbox. You know, it's just going to kind of light things up, get things moving. And I think kind of what we are looking for is this mellowness. We're not looking to shake everything up right now. You know, um, because you are still going through this assimilation, this integration and processing of the past event, even though three years seems like a long time, but to me, I don't think it really is. And especially if these are these memories, these thoughts, this experience still feels very close to you. So this five, this is the worry. This is the kind of shaking everything up and disturbing the peace and calm that we've established, that we're working to kind of, you know, we're using this as our 
kind of home base, this four of cups. Things are mellow, settled, we can deal with what we gotta deal with and then we can move into the future. It feels like when this person makes this offer though, you're gonna have this kind of five excitement, right? You're gonna, I mean, you're gonna feel it. That's gonna be the, the kind of match in the tinderbox. And you're gonna light up and I think you're gonna wanna rush forward into the future and this two of cups is right there. I mean, it's, this is just waiting for you. But I think there's gonna be some hesitation and the hesitation is coming with this four of swords, okay? This is you kind of wanting to just keep things as they were, you know? I think you're gonna be really lit up and inspired by this event and your, your impulse, your heart, maybe your body is gonna to wanna to just go forward with it. But I think you're going to probably choose as the alternative Keep things as they are now until you're maybe more prepared, more ready for this. Whatever this, whatever this thing is, this proposal, this, this offering, this gift, um, this opportunity. So I feel like you kind of want things to stay where they are. You want things to remain in this stable four energy. All right, we don't want the five. We certainly don't want the three. I think we're going from the three to the four. We're going from instability. Okay, four, we're back to stability now. But then comes this five with this event and there's more instability. You want to go back to the four, the stability. Does that make sense? But let's see what this mystery card is. I'm still thinking adjustment card. Um... It could be something like an, like an empress, though, you know. I mean, that, that would be good. Maybe some fire energy, because we don't really see a lot of fire energy. Or maybe, um, you know, a six of swords would be pretty, uh, pretty welcome, I think, at this point in time. Interesting. We have the fire energy, but it's also a four. Okay? It's also a four. So I, do, I feel like you want things to just remain as they are. You want things to be stable. And you don't want change right now. You know, you don't want things to change right now. You want to go from this three, you want to keep it out of four. You want to get the stability, the instability, the activity to the four, the even number, the stability. Okay. And it's interesting that we're going from the three of swords here on the path of the dove. We're going from the three of swords to the th the two of cups, which kind of looks like a three, you know, it's kind of like there's the, it's a two, it's stable, there's stability there, but it has that kind of, it has that third component, right? So it's kind of like there's the potential there for the instability. It's kind of almost a balance between stability and instability. Like maybe that's what we really want. This seems like this is the ideal, you know, it's not just the kind of bland basic four but it's not the crazy three or five either you know this is a nice balance with with also motion involved you know this is kind of a it's kind of a union of those opposites like this seems like the ideal state okay but unfortunately for a lot of these reasons we're not ready to just jump into this two of cups you know the Two of Cups, I think, is going to feel more like this Five of Pentacles. It's going to feel more like just some chaos and uncertainty, instability. The ground is shaking. The waves are just, it's, you know, you're not ready for that yet. So I feel like we have all these Fours, the Four of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Four of Wands. And I think until you've made it through this period of processing this past experience, processing your head and your heart, reconciling and balancing those, doing the art, the alchemy of this art or temperance card, we're going to keep it as at, at a four, at a nice stable. Let's keep things how they are now until a future time where we're, I'm in a better place to move forward. Okay, maybe four months from now maybe four weeks, something not too long, but enough time for you to kind of finish the work that you're doing, you know? And um, interestingly, this card is ruled by Venus 
in, right, Venus, yeah, Venus in Aries. So, you know, if this is your Venus placement that you're watching, then this card is really appropriate for you. But um, wherever your Aries, whatever has your Aries placement in your chart, I think this card is really indicating that the, when it comes to romance, when it comes to this love situation, yes, I feel like it's a romantic relationship kind of thing. The decision is yours. The control is yours. The, the final say in the matter is yours. Okay, so if you want to wait four days, take four days. If you want to wait four months, four years, if you want to just say never, well, that's you. So this card is really saying that you have the control here. You have the power. And the decision is yours about how this is going to progress. See, this is a wheel and the wheel is going to turn, but how fast or how slow and where it stops is all up to you. And this is in terms of this, this relationship with this water sign person, okay? Which I do feel is romantic. And I know that we don't do a lot of like love romance readings, but sometimes they happen. And I think there is a lot for you to... Um, to process and deal with and go at your own pace. You know, don't let anyone feel like you have to rush. With all these fours here, I feel like you really want to kind of keep things dialed back, keep things calm and steady, go at your own pace, right? You don't like the instability, the uncertainty. You don't want things to be shaken up right now. We want to let everything settle and establish a nice kind of um, safety, security, stability, Give it a few months, or a few weeks, a few years, I don't know, uh, before you um, make any definite decisions. Because again, with the nine of wands, you make the decisions and you commit to them. You see them through till the end. So you have to make sure that everything is right. Everything is in its place and that you're ready before you kind of commit to this thing. You know. So I think that's where we're at. We're going to take a look in the extended if you want to stick around. Click on the link that's right up here. And you can have access to all of the extended readings for all signs for the weekly and monthly videos. This was your weekly tarot reading for February 19th through 25th on Dove and Serpent Tarot.